how important is it for you to be here tonight honoring these powerful and talented women in Hollywood? I think it's awesome. I mean, Hollywood can be a real boys club, so it's excited to get all the girls together and kind of um, cheer each other on. And I know Melissa well, so I'm excited to yell for her. Have you ever felt like you had to fight for a role? I mean, you talk about it being a boys club. It can be, I'm sure, super cutthroat and competitive. Yeah, but you look at women like Jodie Foster and Halle Berry that have taken scripts and, and that were originally written for men and changed them into female characters. So, you know, we got we to gotta help each other out. Is there a woman in Hollywood who has particularly inspired you? Oh, God. I mean, I think there's a lot of women. I don't know if you can... I think there's too many. I think every time somebody says you can't do that and someone does it. I mean, Jane Fonda, I think when she started producing and, you know, people have stepped in to direct and people do roles that somebody says you can't play that or you shouldn't or... I know someone told me when she first had a first got pregnant, they said, you're done, you'll never work again. And that person, who I, I won't say, but like has gone on to make 125 films, so I just love anyone that, that, that pushes the boundaries. How does it work working together with your spouse that closely? Weirdly, it works really well for us. We met, you know, working together at Groundlings, so we met and liked each other working, so it, it kind of, it's a good extension of that, yeah. I have to tell you, when I first saw your L cover, two thoughts immediately popped into my mind. She's gorgeous, and how do I get that coat? That's what I, I, yeah, I had an amazing dress on under it, but it's like I live in Southern California. I was so sick of, I was in New York when it was 372 degrees out, and I was so excited to get my hands on that coat that I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to cover up the dress and wear the coat, so I had the same feeling. Very much. Who is this by and how did you choose it? This is Pamela Rowland um, and I, I just, I don't know, my stylist was like, I have this jumpsuit in mind, I wait till it comes and I put it on and I was like, that's it. <laughs> that's hot. Hot, 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 Who hot. says you can't wear white after Labor Day, right? That's right. How are you feeling? You're what, 21 years old and being honored here tonight as one of Elle's women in Hollywood. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel like if I were to say honored, it's going to sound cliche, but I feel, feel deeply honored. I mean, I think it's, you don't, you don't get events often that sort of recognize and admire the strength in women, and to be in the company of women that I admire the strength in is it's really neat. And it's kind of a big deal. I'm very grateful for it. Tell me about your haircut. You started a trend once you cut it for a film role. How, how was that? It's fun. I mean, it was really neat. The film that I did that I cut my hair for was about is about cancer. And so we sort of started this campaign for any women around the world who wanted to donate their hair. And we got thousands of young women to donate. And that was really inspiring to sort of just see the chain effect of, of just letting go and surrendering and realizing that hair is so fleeting and it grows back. And if it doesn't grow back, you can get put a hat on and that we give importance to things that don't necessarily need as much importance as they have. So. Well, there's a lot of actresses and actors that inspired me. Um, it's kind of hard to pick just one. And uh, and actors and actresses still inspire me. I'm, in, I'm inspired by um, very young actors too. Um, and um, so, yeah, I think I will always be inspired inspired by actors. It's just, I mean, when I was a kid, I loved Greta Garbo, so she might have inspired me. Yeah, I hope to create opportunities for other women that I've had in my life created for me. And I hopefully I can find those roles for people and, you know, really cultivate some great female writers and directors. and help them, you know, achieve the goals that they want to achieve. So, Because it's hard, you can't do it without friends and support. You have inspired so many people coming coming through the system and coming through Hollywood, but who else has inspired you? Well, of course, Orson Welles, because he was my house guest on and off for years at a time. Stella Adler, and also just all the people I got to meet. John Cassavetes, Howard Hawks, all these great directors, the great actors. I remember meeting Gregory Peck and almost like fainting. <laughs> What are you most proud of that you've done? Well, I have to say my three children. Uh, they put up a lot with me, and they are my actual meditation masters. They teach me. Who particularly inspires you or, or do you admire? I mean, all of them, but Melissa McCarthy is probably the, the closest to what I aspire to. Um, she's definitely someone who's on my list of heroes, uh, as funny as a human being can be. So. 
excited to see her and a fan of everyone being honored. It's cool.